Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to learn to load the data, uh, Landsat data in R. And this is going to be very basic and I hope this will be helpful for new learners like me. So here um, I have already downloaded this Landsat 9 data and I have kept somewhere in this drive and uh, in that drive we set that drive as our working directory this is done by setwd providing the uh, file path and this creates the um, working directory and the data set here is this one here and I have um, provided this uh, file path to this function on tar and this uh, unzips or untars the file and keeps this in that location so I have already done this one and this unzips the file and gives us the different bands and the second thing I have done here is I have renamed some of the bands just to make it easier while writing the um, writing the band names and the very important packages uh, for loading the raster data in R this is this library raster and the second one here is RDDL and we can um, load this uh, load the single uh, raster file by this raster command and we can plot this by plot here and I have done this already because it takes time so I just wanted to show uh, and this is done by plot we provide some uh, parameters here and this appears something like this so we can just um, check the variable name and see what its contents and here for this band uh, here we have the class as rastelia we have the dimensions and um, we have resolution and we have extent here x mean to x max and y mean to y max and then we have the crs and this starts with plus every time this means the products and utm and we have john we have the datum and we have the units and things like that we have the source and uh, this is the name of the rastelia and we have the values so by specifying the minimum value and uh, uh, maximum value we also get the values of this rastelia and there is the second function a very important one and here we are stacking the different uh, bands as the single stack so we are providing the uh, path to the every band so we had renamed this one uh, this bands band 1 to band 7 and by this stack function uh, we stack the um, different bands so we can see in the class now it says the uh, raster stack and all the other dimensions and things are same and the extent has to be same to stack uh, function so we need to have the same extent of each band and there is also the next class uh, something called raster break and I have already uh, run this one and for this one here we get the raster break so there is the two different classes and the difference is not that much and what uh, has been said is that this uh, raster stack is uh, much easier in processing so uh, we can specify which band to view attributes and this is something uh, that is a difference in the uh, in the class only making it making the processing a little easier so like uh, in other in any other uh, our uh, operations we can find information about the single band only 
So here we can get the information about band wand and the, with the dollar sign and the other way is by using these big brackets and this gives this uh, the same thing and we can uh, plot the histogram of different bands here and this gets something like this and we can also plot different uh, different bands so we get something like this to band 1 to band 7 so we are providing plot with the uh, this raster brick and we can also plot of this single uh, band and the most important thing here is that uh, we want to calculate with NDVI but before that um, there is this function plot RGB and this plot RGB function um, takes the three different bands so we provide the uh, we specify the three different bands for 32 and this creates the RGB composite of this uh, Landsat in maze so this is the function for that one and for calculation of the um, NDVI uh, for NDVI, we subtract two different bands, uh, divide by um, divide by the addition of two different bands. So this red and anion band is being used, and we can uh, do it like any other mathematical operations. So this has been done uh, like any mathematical procedure here, uh, specifying or providing it in the variable name L line NDVI. And can plot this one by plot function and this creates something like this and similarly we can plot the data uh, sorry uh, know the histogram of the distribution of NDVI values and we can set the file by write raster function by providing this uh, NDVI um, is this variable name L9 NDVI and specifying the file name uh, giving the formats and data type and this uh, is how we load the data in uh, load the Landsat 9 data in R so these are the basic functions to know and I hope this will be helpful uh, for you next time when we uh, when you or when we see the um, Landsat 9 data being used in uh, R and this is something similar to other uh, data sets as well any raster data is done um, similar like this so i hope this was helpful um, thank you for watching